Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode. <sighs> what is it now? It's just a little boring around here, you know? No, I don't know. What are you talking about? We just did a whole month of McDonald's stuff. It wasn't all McDonald's stuff. I reviewed the AEW figures last week. That's wrestling stuff. Yeah, but nobody cares about those. I care about those. <sighs> okay, okay. It looks like we have to spice things up around here. Any ideas? What about Karate Men? I don't want to review that just yet. Oh, come on, we've had those forever. I'm saving it for a special occasion. Like what? Like Martial Arts Month. Well, when's that? Right now, it's Martial Arts Month. And we'll kick it all off with... Karate Men? No, we're saving that for last. Then what the hell are we reviewing this week? This week, it's the Power Rangers Lightning Collection by Hasbro. Jeez, it's about time. Hasn't everybody already reviewed those? Shut up, Jess! It's Martial Arts Month! Every time? Anyway, it all starts with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection by Hasbro. Raz Holly, hit the music! The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Wow, if I were to sit here and tell you the whole story, we'd be here all day. It's not likely that you've never heard of Haim Saban's forever running teen martial arts kaiju fighter series, Frankenstein Together, with footage from forever running Japanese series Super Sentai and footage shot in the US to make the show as cheap as possible. The story goes that a witch from space who was imprisoned in a dumpster on the moon escapes to Earth unleashing a giant kaiju monster in an attempt to take over the planet, causing Zordon, interdimensional busybody who looks like a bong, to order his robot assistant Alpha 5 who manages to be worse than C-3PO and the shitty robot from Buck Rogers combined to kidnap five teenagers with attitude to become the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, karate badasses with laser guns, and oh yeah, a giant combiner robot that looks an awful lot like Voltron. This sets up the series in which the Rangers take on new threats each week, shooting, karate-ing, and roboting away waves of putties, giant monsters, or other giant robots, all while wild-ass guitar riffs blare on the soundtrack. It's actually pretty fucking awesome. Of course, I was at the age where I thought I was too old for this kid stuff, so I missed out, like a jackass, only to find out later on that I had slept on one of the coolest pop culture phenomenons of the 20th century. Anyway, Hasbro, flush with cash from, I don't know, Hasbro Game Night? Purchased Power Rangers a few years back and set out to make a line of figures in the 112 scale not unlike the already popular Marvel Legends. Power Rangers Lightning Collection was popular right away with fans and non-fans alike because the figures were so interesting. The box art is great on these, with a simple design that looks great displayed as is, and can also be opened and repacked too. This is great for collectors that don't have room to display everything at once. Hasbro played it smart and didn't just drop all the Rangers in order and sprinkled the Mighty Morphin team throughout the line over the past couple years. I got all five original Teenagers with Attitude, so let's take a look at Power Rangers Lightning Collection by Hasbro. Alright, so let's take a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. We're going to look at one box, because they're all basically the same, uh, especially when it comes to this very first or the basic series of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original five. And we'll start with Jason um, to kind of make up for the fact that Jason does get he does get uh, the, the shaft a little bit halfway through first season. Um, he's kind of replaced a little bit. He's still there. He isn't officially replaced until later on, but he's kind of replaced. He starts out as the main man, the main guy, the leader, the number one, the head honcho, um, and is uh, summarily replaced by um, you know I mean like. Come on, JDF's fucking awesome, but Austin St. John as uh, Jason Lee Scott. What are these guys, fucking assassins? 
How do I gotta know all their middle names? Anyway, Austin St. John as Jason, the the, the Tyrannosaurus, uh, Zord, the Red Ranger. Um, let's take a look at this box art first off. Um, this is designed by uh, Thomas Whalen, I believe. Uh, as if you watch Raz Holly's videos, I do like it's very clean. It's very fucking nice. You not a lot going on. Sort of minimalist, but it every I can see the entire figure. I can see most of the accessories and everything it comes with. I am not. Uh, I'm not being fooled or fucked with. It's uh, what you see is what you get, but it's not boring. It's very nice. The colors pop. It, you have the lightning bolt behind the figure in the packaging. It looks like we don't have a whole lot of rubber bands, tape, and bullshit holding the figure in. We'll see if that you know holds true as we open these things up. Um, we have the the full head here on the side, and uh, as Raz Holly will tell you, um, these things do look good from the side as well. You can line them up like books. I guess if you're a sociopath and you don't want to actually like open these figures up, and you don't even want to look at the figures, you just want them lined up like a bunch of fucking books. Like, what are those? I don't know. I guess they're Power Rangers. I mean, I guess they look kind of neat all lined up on their side, but at the end of the day, don't you want to open these things up? We have a picture of the figure on the back, shows you what he comes with. There's no extra sort of gobbledygook telling you, no flavor text, if you will. Um, got a lot of legalese and um, the sort of uh, legal mumbo jumbo as we are, you know, just used to by now on a figure. Takes up about a third of the back of the box. Got Hasbro, we got 2019 SGC Power Rangers uh, LLC and Hasbro. I am not going to read this entire thing um, in multiple languages, but very, very cool. I would give this uh, give this packaging an A. <laughs> not an A plus, but an A. Um, if they could have hidden all of the mumbo jumbo on the bottom, um, I'd have been a happy man. But other than that, Everything very clean, very nice, ages four and up. Let's see what this thing looks like. Let's see what all of them look like outside of the box. All right, so here he is. It is the Red Ranger. Um, very, very cool. This is actually my first time opening up one of these Hasbro Lightning Collection Power Rangers. Um, I have waited very, very long because I was buying these things back when they first came out. Um, I got this one a little later on. Luckily, we didn't have any twist ties, rubber bands, or bullshit holding the figure or is it its accessories inside the box. And now that I'm taking a look at this figure, he's pretty fucking cool. I know that I have seen Raz Hawley's critique of this figure, and he says that the the helmet on the Red Ranger here is squeezed this way, uh, squeezed so he's he's kind of a thinner uh, vertical line. Um, looking at him by himself, you can't really tell. So I mean that's not going to do us much good because what good is one? Power Ranger. You're going to want to add more to the collection. But before we take a look at these things as a team, let's take a look at this figure as an individual. It has all the sort of points of articulation that I'm not going to go through. If, you, if you're familiar with one of these, you know, a 112 size figures, one of these Marvel Legends scale figures, it has all those points of articulation. I do believe these are compatible with the G.I. Joe classified in the Marvel Legends figures as far as the uh, you know heads or whatever, the swap outs are concerned. Let's take a look at Jason here. He looks very, very cool. It looks pretty much true to screen, in, in my opinion. Accessories wise, they come with the gun. Right there, goes in the little holster, wearable weapons. How fucking cool is that? Looks fucking great right there. They don't use the, the guns as much in the United States version of the show in Super Sentai. They're just busting caps on fools all over the fucking place. Uh, now, what else does he come with? He comes with this fucking sword. Look at this fucking sword. Pretty fucking cool. One problem with the sword, as uh, Raz Holly did mention in his video, the paint fucking chips off. Like, just light handling Putting it in the hand of the figure, I've had the black paint come off the handle and some of the paint come off the blade. 
Um, this may need to be, you know, if I really gave a shit, be repainted at some point. But you know what? It, is the sword super important? Eh, kind of. Um, but at the end of the day, like, I didn't buy this for the fucking sword. Um, one more thing with the fucking sword, though. Comes with the energy sort of thing. You, you attach to the sword. It looks like lightning is uh, jumping off of the fucking weapons. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little effect. This stuff's like made out of a rubbery material. It's soft, um, and uh, you can you can shine a light through it, and manipulate it in certain ways, wrap it around the uh, the weapons and stuff like that. Sure, they, they're compatible with the other weapons as well. So once you get a big collection of those going, you can do all kinds of sort of sort of cool poses with them. He also comes with uh, two sets of hands. We have uh, grabbing hands and a couple of punching ass fists for punching the faces out of putties and bad guys and uh, various horse shit. Those are pretty goddamn cool. Um, and also, he comes with this. Comes with his uh, his uh, his Jason Lee Scott fucking Austin St. John head. Um, Raz was very critical of these. Um, you know what, dude? It looks all right. It, it doesn't look great, but it looks okay because at the end of the day, were you going to fucking use these to begin with? Did you want to put their dumb teenager heads on them with the actors' faces? No. No! You wanted him to look like this. You want him to look like the Red Ranger. This is, the, this is what he looks like in action. That's why they're not selling them in their fucking streets. They're not selling them in their civilian clothes. No! They haven't even announced figures in their civilian clothes. They don't give a shit about those because they know nobody wants them. We want figures that look like this. That look like fucking the, like the, the, you know, the action parts of the show, the good parts of the show where there was fucking sparks flying and, and kicks and punches and robots and, and lasers and crazy bullshit. That's what we want from this and this is actually a very very nice figure um, but that is the Red Ranger all right and here he is Mastodon it is Zach Taylor played by uh, Walter Emmanuel Jones the Black Ranger um, very very cool um, and we all know um, if you follow along in the uh, the universe of, uh, of these bullshit toy videos uh, that if you if you saw that Raz Holly put up a poll and said who's your favorite Power Ranger um, and uh, look who won it was Zach it was Zach who won um, only really because it was like who's your favorite Power Ranger besides Tommy anyway um, Zach is is pretty awesome I mean look at this uniform this is the the best sort of version of that uniform. I mean, putting it in black looks fucking awesome, dude. It looks so good. The black and white, um, the little red accent for the for the gun. This is a little laser gun there, and the nice little gold coin on the on the belt. Fucking so cool. The helmet looks good. Um, it is a very good sculpt, unlike the uh, the like the Jason helmet that uh, was a little thin. We can make the comparison now, and you can really clearly see when you compare them side by side um, that this one is just coming up short. But that's all right, because we're looking at Zack here. We're looking at the Black Ranger. Wow. Zack looks really fucking cool. Like the, like the last one, comes with uh, grippy hands and fisty hands for punch in action. Also comes with... Uh, this comes with the, the, the axe gun thing. Um, and what's cool is you see the little clippy on the top there. You can combine all these together, just like they do on the show. Make the big gun um, that they should just bust out in the beginning anyway to kill monsters, because that's what they do a couple times. Pretty fucking cool. Also has the, uh, the, the, the gun effect. Um, these are nice. They're made out of like rubber, and they've got the little sparkles inside. Nice little lighting effects. And again, um, even though this one's made, has a proprietary little thing to stick inside the axe, you can figure out a way to finagle them and use them with the other weapons as well. Um, very, very cool. Has the great posability. Is a great sculpt because that's what we're looking for on these. Um, and when you put them all together, I mean, you have them. You have the Power Rangers. And now that we have modern figures 
made by a company that made the Marvel Legends, that's done the work, that's done the, the research, knows the scale, knows the articulation, knows what these things are supposed to look like, and they can come out with these Power Rangers figures finally that look like it's what you would have always wanted. I obviously, I slept on the Power Rangers. I still don't know a ton about them. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a late fucking arrival to the to the fandom, but um, goddamn, these things are amazing, and I think it, any fan um, would be would be stoked to get these. Now, let's talk about the minuses. Jesus Christ, look at this head, um, Hasbro. W where have your heads been besides up your own asses? Jesus, like, this is the company that made Marvel Legends. This is the company that made G.I. Joe classified. This is the company that, that made fucking G.I. Joe in the first place. And this is the heads we're getting for the fucking Power Rangers? Like, I can hang with the fucking, with the Jason head. It wasn't so bad. But this is fucking aw- It doesn't even look like him! It doesn't even look like him. Is this just sort of a way for you guys to avoid paying fucking royalties to the actors? So we don't use their fucking legacy? Oh, but you know what? It just fell on the floor. I don't care. I don't care if it goes away forever and I lose it and I never see that fucking thing again. It's awful. And again, I don't need the fucking heads because I didn't need to see them in teenager mode. I don't need a fucking a bunch of teenagers with attitude. I want the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as action figures. And these things are fantastic. So head aside, the Zack figure, pretty fucking awesome. All right, so here we have Amy Jo Johnson as Kimberly Hart. I think that was her name, the Pink Ranger. Because it doesn't matter. Because this, we're not looking at the, uh, we're not looking at Amy Jo Johnson. We're not looking at Kimberly Hart. We're looking at the Pink Ranger. And for the majority of the time on the television series that we saw the Pink Ranger, we were looking at a Japanese stunt actor inside <laughs> inside this costume. So this is what it really should be based on. Um, Ras Holly was very critical of it. I know I'm talking a lot about Ras Holly. The, his videos are fresh in my mind. You don't like me talking about Ras Holly? Go watch another goddamn channel. Um, you, you whatever make your own fucking power rangers review uh, but, but it's fresh in my mind he was he was very critical of the bandai figures the bandai figures are too sexy the lightning collection figures not sexy enough will Raz holly ever be happy i don't know but this figure to me looks pretty goddamn good she comes with some accessories uh, she's got very different she's got a couple different hands two sets of hands she's got a chopping hand hey -ya! and she's got a uh, a fist hand for punching punch you right in the asshole and then she's got a, a couple pairs of hands that are grabbing hands that are made specifically to hold this which is her her arrow bow and arrow thing where you just got the arrow right here there it is isn't that fucking cool also this uh pink lightning effect it's kind of it's kind of herky-jerky kind of wonky trying to get it all in her hands um to pose it but once you do get a good pose, it looks really fucking awesome. The sculpt on this is fucking great. Um, they, they make the limbs nice and thin. Um, they give, make, give her a more like sort of feminine look. Uh, so I think it looks really, really good. Um, and now the, here comes the problem. The problem with every single one of these goddamn things is these heads. These heads are a fucking disaster. They're, they're, they're a problem. But the good news is, is that nobody bought these things for the actor's heads. Not not one of us fucking bought these things to be like, oh, you know what? I really want an Amy Jo Johnson. I really want a fucking uh, uh, an Austin St. John or, or, or whatever any of these idiots names are. I don't need necessarily need their heads. Nobody's buying any of these figures when they put them in the street clothes. So who gives a shit? I know Raz got one's got a shit stain on it. Mine looks actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the one I got. I'm still not a not a good sculpt. Not a good sculpt, Hasbro. Hasbro, giant fucking toy company with millions and billions of dollars. Oh, oh my God. But beyond that, it's fine. She was kind of fucked up in the box because they wanted to pose her in the box for some reason. Most people aren't going to notice because they keep them in the box anyway. They never take them out. They never take them out, look at them, pose them, play with them, fucking look at their accessories. No, they just keep them in the box, keep them sealed in the box, and they think one day they'll be worth a bajillion dollars and I'll retire. Well, guess what, assholes? They won't. By the time these things are fucking old enough, 
fucking in everybody's throne theirs away and yours is actually rare, nobody's gonna give a fuck about these things and you'll be the only person that likes it anymore and by that time, you'll be trying to sell it too. Well, guess what, motherfucker? Nobody else is gonna want it either and, and you you will have wasted your fucking time. Open up your action figures. You should open up this action figure because it's really fucking cool. That's the Pink Ranger. All right, Sabretooth Tiger. It's... Uh, Trini Kwan, played by uh, Tui Trang, I believe uh, the name is pronounced better. I probably fucked it up. Um, but, you know, what, what do you want from me, goddammit? I'm, I'm, I'm not a linguist. But anyway, um, this is the Yellow Ranger. Um, the Sabretooth Tiger Ranger. Very, very fucking cool. Um, very nice build on the figure. Very nice uh, just quality overall. I can't really figure out a lot of like things to say to critique it. This one has been very, very good. I've been screwing with it here for a few minutes, looking at the accessories, looking at the posability, looking at looking to see if there was any sort of problems or issues with it. The helmet looks great. The uh, the, the paint job looks great. The sculpt is great. But here's the thing: when you're watching Power Rangers, all that fighting stuff, all that footage. Of the Yellow Ranger whipping ass. Um, it's not a lady. It's a dude in that costume, and this is definitely not a dude. They did make it a lady, uh, which you know what they should. Um, the, the the character is a lady, and uh, in in Power Rangers, it's technically a lady. And I I bring this up first before I even bring up the other accessories because this happens to be the best looking one. Um, it's kind of like being the uh, the tallest midget or the nicest guy in prison. Um, not really a fucking a high bar to cross. Um, it looks fine, I guess. Does it look exactly like the actress that played her? No, um, but it doesn't, it's not bad. I don't have like a whole lot to say about it. It looks fine, but again, who the fuck wants to have these guys in their streets? Who has to want these guys in the uh, the Clark Kent, you know, uh, version, the, the Bruce Wayne version of the outfit? Nobody wants that. We want the superheroes. We want the superhero costumes, the helmets. Helmets on, everybody. That's what we want from our Power Rangers in full action pose. She comes with two sets of hands. She's got one set of hind hands to do tiger style. And she's got a couple other sets of hands. She's got grabby hand. Um, the, the tiger style hands can grab too. Also got a choppy hand and she comes with uh, her, her daggers, her, her saber tooth teeth daggers <laughs> right there. Um, very cool, nice little detail on those and also a couple of lightning effects. I have no idea how to use these or where to stick them on to, to the figure. Um, they're they're kind of neat. Um, but at the end of the day, they just looks like sea and enemies or some shit. Um, but yeah, who cares? That doesn't matter. That's not what we came here for. What we came here for also, and of course, like everybody else, comes with a gun and the holster. Wearable weapons. Very, very neat. Um, awesome figure. It's, it's, it's Trini. It's Trini Kwan. It's the, it's the Yellow Ranger. And, and you couldn't have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers if you didn't have them all. And that's what we're leading up to here is that... You gotta get all of these things. If you're gonna get one, you gotta get them all because you wanna see them all together. And so that is the Yellow Ranger. So finally, have we saved the best for last? It is David Yost as the Blue Ranger, as Billy Fucko, whatever his dumb last name is. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this right now. Nothing against the actor David Yost who played uh, Billy the Blue Ranger on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but God damn it, that character was fucking everything I hate about television. He sucked. He sucked ass. Um, wait, everybody with glasses has got to be some egghead, some weirdo, some some geek, some dork. And, they, and boy, they really just, did they turned up the dork dial with this character. But Blue Ranger, on the other hand, fucking way cool. And I do like that, that toward the end of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they gave him the, the wolf, the wolf zord. That thing is fucking dope. That, that, the fucking entrance that thing makes, it's fucking amazing. Fucking awesome. Um, and this figure... He's fucking awesome. Triceratops, my favorite dinosaur. Um, and, uh, and yeah, maybe maybe yeah, my, my favorite color, blue. You know? Fucking, come on. 
fucking like, why, is, why is my favorite shit gotta be associated with this dork? Anyway, um, yeah, he, he's all right. The, the figure is fucking great. The figure is fucking great. He is, he poses great. I mean, like, look, we've looked at five of these goddamn figures. They have all the same poses, all the same points of articulation, and pretty much the same costume. This is pretty much the, the, the Red Rangers we were looking at before, except he's got a different helmet on. And let's look at that helmet. That helmet is a great, great sculpt. Looks very, very nice. Um, I can't remember if this is one of the ones that Raz was like, yeah, it's too wide, it's too thin, it's too big, too small. Fucking, I don't, I can't remember which one was just right. Um, but it looks all right to me, honestly. Um, I, who knows? Who knows? Is it too wide? I don't know! Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you fucking think of these fucking things. Um, he comes with his weapons. He's got this all spear piece of shit thing. He's got uh, these a couple of these things that, that when you when you break it apart, you can you can put it on their big super gun and blast monsters with it. He's got two sets of hands, grabbing hands and punching hands. Uh, basically the same shit that the Red Ranger and the Black Ranger came with, and he has uh, this lightning effect to put on his weapon. Super cool shit. Um, looks great. Looks great pose. And it was one of those things. It's like was everybody just rushing out to buy the Blue Ranger? No. No, the, the why did you buy the Blue Ranger is so you could have all five and put them together and put their big gun together and, and have all five Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because, it, and, and you know what, fucking Hasbro was doing you no favors when they gave you this piece of shit. This is the worst fucking head I've ever seen. Oh my God, what's with the, oh, why'd they put lenses in there? This could have this easily been... You may make the glasses, they make the frames a little thinner, and, and just don't put lenses. Why does it need lenses? It doesn't really need to see, so it doesn't really need lenses in there. So, yeah, it's really, really bad looking. It does not really look like the person who's supposed to be. Um, not really, I guess. I mean, I guess it's an approximation of, of, uh, of David Yost as Billy, but not... Doesn't put him in the best of light. Makes him look kind of bad. Much like his fucking character on the show. Um, so, yeah. But, again, did anybody buy him for the fucking... For the heads? For the, the celebrity heads? No! No, you bought it for the figure. You bought it for the fucking action figure. You bought it for the superhero style of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And this Blue Ranger, he's fucking dope. And he's awesome. And I'm glad I got him. Okay, so at the end of the day, wow, I mean, when you put them all together, and that's really the number one reason you were gonna buy any of these, was to put them all together. You line them up side by side, you combine the big power blaster or whatever the fuck it's called together, and you pose them up, and it's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, just like we've always wanted i mean i don't even know i've always wanted this i was a, i'm a late i'm a, I'm a late arrival to the fandom and and once i put these guys together and i put the, the weapon together holy shit these things faults aside bad faces aside um weird sculpts on the helmets aside these things are fan fucking tastic um and you know what weren't all that hard to find some of the some of the more uh, exclusive things some of the more you know you got to go to comic-con you got to do whatever you got to go suck a dick to find it those things are going to be more difficult to find but the basic power rangers really weren't that hard to find at all um i was able to get them you just had to wait i just had to be patient and i found them all and um yeah i gotta say i'm pretty fucking happy with these it's the mighty Morphin power rangers it's the power rangers lightning collection by hasbro pretty fucking cool figures well that's it for the mighty Morphin team tell us what you think in the comments down below well what's next for martial arts month it's a secret well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Find out next week on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music!